Chances are you've searched for an important note but couldn't find it in this endless messy list. Or you don't even want to open your notes because they look like this. To fix that, we are going through a bunch of super useful Apple Notes tips, plus some pro tips along the way. Let's start directly with this list and bring some structure in it with some folders. Here you can already see my folder setup. We'll take a closer look at that later. To create a new folder, tap the new folder icon at the top right. Type in a name, let's call this one Operation Frederiki. Then tap done. And there is it, your new folder. But if you open a folder, you'll notice that the top right icon disappears. To create a subfolder inside, tap more in the top right, choose add folder, give it again a name, and then tap save. Now you've got a subfolder. And if you already have some notes that belong in the new folder, here are some options for moving them fast with one pro tip. Option one, swipe a note to the left, tap here on move, then pick the new folder or any other folder and done. Works fine for single notes. Option two, tap more in the top right, choose select notes, pick the ones you want, this, this, this and this one. Then tap move to and select the folder. Also great for more notes. But here is the pro tip. Touch and hold one note, drag it slightly, then with another finger tap the other notes you want. This, this, this and this one. Once you've got them all back out of the folder and drop the stack onto your target folder. Done. Those five notes are now in the new folder. Quick side note, iOS supports the drag and drop almost everywhere. Want to add this photo into your note? Just touch and hold it, move it slightly, switch with another finger to the note and drop it where you want. Same works for text, links, PDFs and even folders and notes. Back to the main point. With folders and subfolders, things are already clearer. But here are three more tips for an Eva even even cleaner structure. First, pin important notes to the top. Just swipe a note to the right and tap the pin icon. A full swipe works as well. To unpin, do the same again. By default, notes are sorted by last edited date, but you can change that. Tap more in the top right, choose sort by, then pick edit date, created date or title. Below that, choose whether notes are listed newest to oldest or oldest to newest. And if you sort by date, Apple also groups the notes by time, like last 30 days, October, August and so on. Don't like that? Tap more on the top right, go to group by date and turn it off. Personally, I like it on. And if you still can find a note after all that, just use the search bar at the bottom. You can search for words or or even attributes like notes with checklists, PDFs and more. And here, as I promised, my folder setup. My main folders match the big areas of my life, like TT Tech, work, family and so on. And I like adding an emoji to each one so they stand out. Inside those, the structure can vary. For example, my good to know folder is my knowledge shop. It is split into different topics and some of those have subfolders if they get big enough. But subfolders aren't always helpful. Now let's create and edit notes. Here are one, two, three, four, 10 quick tips. We will use this note where I've already added a few tips. First, select the word organization. Tap the formatting button above the keyboard and choose heading. The text is now large and bold with a small arrow so you can collapse or expand what's underneath. If we open flow, you'll see you can also use subheading under a main heading. Okay, in intro, triple tap to select the first paragraph. Then tap formatting again. Here you can make text bold, italic, underline or even strike through. You can turn a text into a bulleted list, a dashed list or a numbered list. You can indent, highlight with color or add a block quote. Here's a quick example. The text is highlighted, a bit of underlining or bold and a block quote below. Pro tip, you can also start a list by typing dash plus space for bullets or one dot plus space for a numbered list. Now let's open materials and add some links. Say you've already copied a URL. Instead of pasting the plain link or digging through menus to find add link, you can just tap paste. The selected text instantly becomes a linked phrase. But what if you want to link to another note? Highlight the text again, then tap on the arrow and tap here on add link. Now in this menu, you can type the title of the note you want to link to. In our case, brand template. Tap done and the link is created. Quick test, yep. It works. Above the keyboard, you find some more tools. Let's look at them. First, 
the checklist. Tap on it to start a new checklist or select text and turn it into one instantly. Next to that, you've got tables like this one. Then comes the attachment menu, the paperclip. From here, you can attach files, record audio that can also be transcribed. You can add in a photo or video from the photos app. You can take a photo or video. You can scan documents or simply scan a text. These two are my favorites. And finally, when we go out of there, we have drawing. What if you you have a note that shouldn't be sitting open in the notes app. Easy. You can lock it inside the note, tap more on the top right, then tap on lock and confirm. In our case with face ID. Or from the notes list, touch and hold a note and tap lock note. Next time you open it, you will need face ID or your iPhone passcode. And if you want to remove the lock, just follow the same steps. And the other way around, we can also share notes. Simply tap the share button on the top right. Now choose whether to send a copy, it will send a PDF or collaborate so someone can access your live version and work with you on the note. Let's pick collaborate and just share the note like anything else. Okay, and once the person accepts, you will see this collaboration icon. Tap on it and this menu will appear. You can see the latest updates, current participants. You can toggle the cursor from the participant on or off, show all activities, show highlights and you can manage the shared note. Let's tap on that. Here you can see with whom the node is shared and if we tap on one person, you can adjust the permissions and choose if the person can add other persons or not. Okay, one step back. Underneath we can share the node with other persons. And now let's tap on the that on share options. Here we have some sharing options. Only invited people versus anyone with the link can join and whether people with the link can add others or only you can. This also works for entire folders too. Again, one step back and underneath, we can copy the link from the shared node. Okay, many settings, let's go back to the node. Here is a quick tip. You can mention somebody by typing add followed by their name. You'll see suggestions above the keyboard. Tap one to insert the mention. And finally, if you swipe a node to the right, you'll see the activity view with a timeline of who added what and when. You can also have multiple accounts in the notes app. To do that, open settings, scroll down to apps, go to the notes app and then tap accounts. Here you can either enable notes for an existing account. For example, go into Gmail and here you can toggle it on or off. Or if you go one step back, tap add account to connect a new account. Personally, I keep mine in iCloud, which syncs across all devices. Okay, something different, you can also add text. Let's try that. In this note, type hashtag and you'll see suggested tags appear above the keyboard. But let's create a new one. Hashtag Craig. Space. If it works, the tag turns yellow right away. What's the point? Go back to the main notes overview and look at the tag browser at the bottom. We will tap on Craig and instantly we will see all notes with that tag in it. You can even filter further and tap on another tag. It's an additional and fast way to organize and find notes. And if you don't want notes to automatically create tags every time you type hashtag, therefore we go into the settings of the notes app. Here we go to automatic automatically convert to tags and turn it off. Another thing you can build with tags are smart folders. In the main view, tap the new folder icon at the top right then choose convert to smart folder. A smart folder automatically collects notes that match filters you set. Let's make one together. We will create a smart folder that show notes with the tag crack and that contains a checklist. Tap tags, select all selected tags, then tap crack. And next tap checklists and choose any so it includes completed ones and not completed ones. Okay, now we got that. At the top, choose whether notes must match all filters or any one filter. We'll pick all. Tap on done and then done again. Your smart folder is now ready. And remember, the notes don't move. They stay in their original folders. A smart folder just gives you another way to view the same notes in multiple places. You can also choose between a list view and a gallery view. Just tap more in the top right, then choose view as gallery. Same works the other way with few as list okay thanks guys for watching and i recommend this video or this video see you next time bye bye